Number one, it needs to use magnets to shoot things. I'm saying railgun, but it doesn't specifically need to be a railgun instead of a coil gun. And yes, there is a difference. A railgun essentially works like this homopolar motor battery science project where you have magnets and a battery and the copper wire creates an electromagnetic field around that and it creates force that's going in a circle. And a railgun works just like this, instead of the force going in a circle, it's a sled being pushed on a straight line, and there's a projectile on that sled that shoots out and blows stuff up. Same principle. So like this, except significantly bigger. It's like if you had that throwing arm on the end here, and like threw something with that. Meanwhile, a coil gun works with an electromagnet right here, and then a projectile is pulled into the hole around the magnet, because magnet stuff. But once it gets to about here, almost halfway, this one turns off, and then another electromagnet down the line turns on, and it pulls that projectile as well, until this thing is going at hypersonic speeds and turns something into chunky salsa. Railgun has a sled on rails, a coil gun has coils that pull up projectile. <coughs> Jeez, I feel like Bill Nye. Just give me a cable TV show to talk about sci-fi. Yeah.